This is my 1.6 HDI Peugeot Partner 2007, roughly about 106,000 miles. And as usual, you need to replace car batteries. This car battery is Exide Premium 760 EN. It's roughly about three years old, so I decided to replace it because it, in all my measurements, I had uh, previous quite a few videos you can see here. It's roughly about 66 to 70 percent state of health. So I decided to purchase a new one and I purchased this super duper Varta E44 780 EN Varta Silver Dynamic Car Battery. That's a mouthful. Because I decided, well, this is better than my other one. My Exide is 760 EN. This is similar to cold cranking amps, but it's just a slightly different nomenclature EN rather than cold cranking amps. Although if you go on the Varta website, uh, like I go here, so if you go to this battery, you can see they say instead of 780 EN, they say this is 780 cold cranking amps. So even Varta uh, mislabeling uh, whatever they're selling. So it's not entirely clear if this is 780 EN, the European nomenclature, or 780 cold cranking amps. So I bought this from Eurocar Parts for roughly about 120 pounds. First thing you need to check when you buy a new car battery the serial number that it's on here i'll zoom in a second what date month and year this battery was produced so this car battery if you look this is the serial number here the first three letters don't matter then it, it's 177 and there's a really convenient video that you can find the link here where you can check what month and year this battery was produced at from 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 Varta. So looking at this website with this Excel, so for my three digits, fourth, fifth, and sixth digits, it's 177. So it means this battery was produced September 2021. Currently, it's the beginning of May 2022. So in other words, this battery is seven months old. So Eurocar Parts sent me a battery that is seven months old. So let's see what the condition is of this battery. So for that particular thing I'll be using the Foxwell BT100 Pro car battery tester and you can see here up the link I have a detailed review about this analysis, the state of health, state of current uh, resistance between the cells in, in, in milliohms and so on. And so it's pretty useful and I'll use it so simply you hook the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative, and it should light up. So it currently is 12.65 volts, so that, that, that's pretty good. It's probably undercharged because it has stayed for a while and I received it a couple of days ago. If I go to battery test, out of vehicle, because it's out of vehicle, I haven't connected it. It's a regular car battery. And then, of course, you can choose between EN and CCA at the front. First of all, I'll choose EN because that's EN is 780 EN. Let's say 780 EN, press enter to test, and it's testing. And what you can say is here it says replace battery. That's what it has um, analyzed that car battery. So from rated 780 EN, the current battery is 658 EN. So that's, that's pretty low than what this battery is rated. If you go to menu 2, state of health is 71%. I mean this battery is 71% from new, from brand new battery. State of current of course is 100% and this is resistance between the cells 4.39 uh, milliohms. I don't know what the standard for that battery is, but the state of health is 71%. So that's what Eurocar parts sent me. Varta battery, super duper, quite a bit of money, and it's 71% state of health. So this was EN. Let's see now about 780 cold country amps as uh, per Varta's website. 12.65. Battery test out of the vehicle, and then we go to regular, and then we go to EN, uh, to cold cranky amps, not EN. EN 780 cold cranky amps. Let's see if that's any better. Of course, it will be any better. It will be better. So, out of 780 cold cranky amps, it's achieving 715 cold cranky amps. That's not too bad, it's still not 100%. So, if I go to menu 2. So now it shows 77%, so it's still 
brand new battery from Eurocar parts. Okay, it's seven months old, but it's 77% state of health. I mean, it's nowhere near even 90%. Resistance is 440 milliohms. But before returning this battery, because I'll definitely return it, this is 70%. I paid quite a money for at least 90%. I mean, I, I would I would be all right with, with buying this 90%. First of all, let's charge it using the Noco Genius 5 charger. Charge it to full until the green here on 100% is, is solid green. This means that it's fully charged, it doesn't accept any more charge. Then, of course, I'll run a repair mode, 12 volt repair here and then charge it again, leave it overnight and see if this Noco Genius 5 has actually recovered it and see how much it can be recovered from 71%. Let's see how much it is. First of all, uh, let's charge it to the full. So this is now solid green, not to show it was overnight, uh, so it was more than several hours, but that's solid green, so it's 100% charged. Next thing is to do the repair function, I'll just press the, the mode here, I don't know, more than three seconds. Then the six volt is flashing and then press it once again and goes to 12 volts, which is blinking. So this will do a repair function. I think it's roughly about four hours. And then once this switches off, it will go to standby mode and then I can charge it again and see if this battery will be repaired. Four hours later, it has finished uh, the repair. This is on, on standby. The repair is not blinking and this is uh, lighting, hopefully you can see it, is the standby mode. So next is to press the mode once to get it charged, 12 volts to go through uh, to solid green uh, on the 100%. And it literally within two minutes went to solid green. In other words, the battery does not accept any more, more charge and that's the full charge. So next thing is to switch it off, hold the mode button until it goes to this 6 volt. Press it two more times to go and standby mode and that's it, one can disconnect it. So I'll disconnect it and I'll leave it like that because there is a surface charge at the moment to show above 13 point something volts. So I'll leave it like that for several hours and then I'll test it again to see if this Noco Genius 5 has repaired it and should I return it, uh, will I keep it. So it's been exactly 24 hours after I charged it, so there is no surface charge anymore. So let's see if the Noco Genius 5 has done anything to that car battery and let's, let's see what the charge is. 12.97 volts, so it's pretty charged. Battery test out the vehicle, regular. Let's do first EN. 780, 780. It's testing. And there we have it, replaced battery 627 EN, out of rated 780, let's see, 67%, this didn't increase at all, of course charge is 100%, 4.6 uh, milliohms. I can do the same with um, cold cranking amps, let's say CCA 780, of course it will be a bit more. So it's 682 out of 780 rated cold cranking amps. Oh, it says good battery at least for the cold cranking amps, 73%. And still uh, nowhere near 100% or even uh, 90%. And returning this car battery that's not fit for purpose. Euro car parts. So I returned that to your car parts, got another one from Tena, same one, 780 EN, according to the Vardas website, this is 780 cold cranking amps. So let's see this new battery, if you look at the serial number, it's not on that side, but it's on that side, the 4th, 5th and 6th digit, it says 180. So that means this is produced December 2021, so in other words, this battery is 4 months old. Well, slightly better than the seven months, the one that I already ordered. So let's see, I haven't really charged it or anything, I received it today. So let's see what this will show. Okay, 12.69, that's fine. Battery test, out of vehicle, regular. Uh, let's put EN first, 780. Testing. Good battery, 720 EN out of 780. That's 
not too bad. This is better than the previous one that I that I got. 77% state of health, state of current, 100%. Much better. But let's see if we can do the same with the um, EN uh, with the cold cranking amps. As Varta says, this 780. It's not EN, but it's called cranking amps. 780 CCA. Well, I've got 787 CCA better than uh, the rated 85%. Still 85% probably is the 4, the resistance. So next thing is again charge this battery. Leave it overnight to see can I actually get a bit more. So I've got the Noco Genius 5 charger. It's on standby mode, so press the mode once to light 12 volts. So this will start charging again. So I'll wait till this is solid green, then leave it, let's say 12 hours, and then I'll do the testing again. So I charge it to full with an Oku Genius 5 until it, uh, this was solid green. I left it for about 12 hours to stand without being connected to an Oku Genius 5, so the surface just will disappear. Now I'll test it with my Foxo BT100 to see if this has improved the cold crank amps or the EN on the European norm. Let's see what happens. 12.94, it's a good charge. Battery test, regular. Oh, let's first do the EN. 780. Testing. 711 out of 780, that's not too bad, it's almost close to the maximum 76%. That's actually not too bad, charging actually kind of works. Let's do the cold cranking amps, 780 cold cranking amps, and we get 773 out of 780 cold cranking amps, that's uh, close to, the, to that. 83%. I mean, so what's the what's the verdict? That's better battery, and I'll keep that battery. I'm not <laughs> returning that uh, because it's just too much of effort to return them and show them that this is not 100%. So most batteries that you get sold are nowhere near 100%. This one is roughly about 85%. I can do the Noco Genius 5, the repair function, and then charge again, keep it and see what, what the condition, if this will improve, probably will improve only slightly. So this is 780 amps EN, the European norm, and it's a different than co-cranking amps, it's a different testing procedure. They always write EN, I suspect they did no way on this battery, you can see CCA or code cranking amps, you can always see EN. And it's not a direct conversion, this is the the graph, the conversion between kind of EN to CCA and 780 amps EN it's not quite the same, it's much lower cold cranking amps. I wrote an email to to Varte to ask them what is this because on the website on the label of the car battery it says 780 EN on the website for the product PDF of that battery it's only mentioned 780 cold cranking amps not EN and it's not a, it's like the equivalent, but they're not equivalent. So I asked them, is this 780 amps EN or 780 amps cold cranking amps? They replied, well, 780 is cold cranking amps, CCA is cold cranking amps, and EN is European norm. It should always be tested at cold cranking amps. But what is it? So I replied, but what is this? Is it EN or cold cranking amps? Looking at the product, PDF of that battery, uh, it seems like this is cold cranking amps. If this is cold cranking amps, fine. If it's EN, alright. They're, they're kind of, it's a bit lower on the EN, this battery. So, what are the conclusions from this video? Well, get yourself one of these, any of these car battery testers, they're extremely useful to test it. Second, check the serial number, check with the production date, either on the top or the bottom. If it's anything more than two months, but this is four months old battery, it's brand new but four months old, well it's if anything less than two months, well you have to check how how good it is with one of these chargers and then kind of think about whether you want to return it or the hassle of returning it, returning it or not. I won't be returning that, it's just too much of an effort and I'm going on holiday so I'm not really gonna return that, but I, otherwise I would have probably argued that 
this is something the labeling is somewhat not quite accurate although I'm happy with with Athena it's pretty good company the packaging was spectacular amazing packaging the battery is four months old much better than Eurocar parts and the charge is much better hopefully that is useful to someone thank you very much indeed for watching let me know for any comments or any suggestions in the comments below I'll be more than happy to know what you're thinking about that. Thank you.